So welcome to part three of this series on conditioning the space in this master bathroom. So here I am again, and what we want to do is we want to take out what, what, what is the insulation situation going on around here. So I've already made a couple of updates, but let's see some other updates I might be able to make. So this is a pretty large space here, and one thing that I did notice is that in this little bathroom area, there's a maintenance panel. And when I redid this, uh, when I updated this bathroom, I actually replaced this, this panel right here. And inside this panel, it just goes to the jacuzzi. And so that's supposed to be a maintenance panel for the jacuzzi. But the thing is, this actually runs straight into unconditioned space. So basically the attic in the summer and the attic in the winter, all that air just travels right through this panel. So essentially you just have a huge hole in the wall that runs to the outside of the house. So obviously that was a huge problem. So actually behind this, this uh, panel here, I actually have a, a big piece of insulation, which is actually just a, that alone has helped quite a bit in this space. Another thing was this window has been replaced, but it had a huge gap uh, in it when I first moved in that I was able to um, seal up that helped as well. So that's the first piece that I've already taken care of, but let's take a look inside those closets and see what the situation is behind these walls. So here we are again in the adjacent closet. And as you can see, there is some insulation on these walls, but right here, no insulation at all. And so it looks like this has almost been eaten out by an animal or something. I think previous owners did have some pest situations, but that's been remedied. So uh, obviously there's no insulation here at all to this wall. We got a hole right here. So that's just right there. Looks like it's the, uh, the countertop. And I actually noticed, so right there, that's just a hole going right into the cabinetry. So that's actually a piece of toilet paper. So I'm just reaching right into that cabinet space. Um, obviously a problem because the air is just going from this unconditioned space right into the bathroom. So we'll have to get that patched up, get this all insulated properly. And then also, I would like to just insulate this entire space so we can insulate along here after we get the baffles in, we can insulate here, and then I'm gonna put some drywall in. This whole room should be insulated off. And then another major problem with the insulation of this area is actually these doors. So that in uh, that unconditioned space, as you can see right there, that air just comes right into this closet here. So when I redo these closets, I'll probably turn these into uh, some sort of shelving so it's like a hidden door of some kind. Um, but if I can get that space all insulated off and, and do all these improvements, I think even this right here shouldn't be a huge problem if that's fairly, um, if that's fairly conditioned space. So let's, so let's take a look up inside the attic now. So here we are up in the attic again, and we want to look at what the insulation situation is above the bathroom. So right now I'm standing above the hallway that's next to the two side closets. And just ahead of me, right over here, is the, the uh, master bathroom. So let's see exactly what's going on over here. As you can see, the insulation is falling down. And this is, this is the drywall directly next to that wall uh, where we have the main vent. And as you can see, it's even been eaten away. So all that's left is that batting in the back. Um, so I'm gonna have to replace this, and I think this is a, a major inefficient area. So if we can get this all sealed up, that's probably gonna make a, a, a fair bit of difference here. Um, so we'll get this all sealed up here, make sure we have proper insulation up here in the attic. I just finished up insulating up here in the attic. As you can see, I've added a little bit more insulation where we had some missing insulation. So that should take care of that bathroom wall situation. Let's get down in the closet and get some insulation there as well. So we've completed the insulation up in the attic and I've also patched up some of these holes here that were just direct holes right into that bathroom. So that will block the air from going through there. Now all we need to do is just put some insulation batting on the roof here, on the walls here. I was able to utilize some of the older insulation here but we should be able to finish this up and that'll conclude this part. So let's get going.
we completed the insulation in here. As you can see, everything is well insulated. And we also insulated the equivalent closet. It's over here on the other side. So this closet is also all insulated and I'm going to check it out tonight and see how much difference that makes. I'm thinking the insulation alone should be probably one of the biggest changes in this area of the house for efficiency and comfort. I'm back in the master bathroom about a week after the insulation update. And I gotta say, it has really made a huge difference. I feel like the insulation alone, including some of the other updates that we made, has pretty much taken care of the issue. So this room right, this bathroom right now, is just about the same temperature as the rest of the house. Whereas before, on a really cold or a really hot day, you're looking at 15 to 20 degrees difference. So we've really solved it, and my wife is really, really happy about it. So. We still have some duct work to take care of, which should probably help a little bit further, but for the most part, this insulation was the major change that helped with the efficiency and comfort of this room. So stay tuned for the next part in the series on duct work. Thanks.